remember back in the day, like we had like family, <laughs> like we don't have like family now. And it's typically the darker you folks who have less family to help with children. Back in my day, back when I was coming up, you know what I'm saying? I sound old, but yeah, yeah. Back in my day, we had people in the family who would watch the children. We had one or two or three, four aunties who stayed home and shit like that right there. You know, the ones who had the card games and like we had grandmas and big mums and stuff, but the ones who had the card games and shit like that, they would watch all the churn, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Your auntie stayed in a apartment complex where there's so many other kids in the complex. So you really did enjoy going around the auntie house. You know what I'm saying? Because you get to play with the kids in the community and stuff like that right there. Now, the aunties are still clubbing and shit. They laying up. They getting peed in. Bitch, ain't got time for your little ugly ass churn. Bitch, ain't got time for your little ugly ass churn. Oh, hell no. You had that baby. <laughs> There's nobody else's responsibility. For real, for real. So it's real, real difficult. So um, we still got to take our children to daycares and stuff like that. But we have a situation to where we got three workers who is charged after leaving the baby inside of a daycare after hours here we go oh damn it i said that like i had everything in order um here we go care workers are Hold now on, three daycare workers are now facing charges after a seven month old baby was left inside of a shuttered daycare center in hunting park last month gabriella rivas janae smith and city of thomas ishman are all charged with endangering the welfare of a child in conspiracy the child's parents say they showed up at the daycare around 5.30 on the night of February 1st to find the facility locked up. And it typically, though, was to close at 6. The fire department was called to rescue the child who had been left alone in the dark. The child, thankfully, was not harmed. Wow. So you mean to tell me that they closed at 6 o'clock? How in the hell do you close and all the kids has not been picked up? But I guess when you was running the business the way that y'all is running the business, um... <laughs> You can forget some dog on time. Now y'all, listen, they're not finna get these babies like no time. This is um a a misdemeanor, like a probationary charge or something like that right there. They may have to do like seven hours community service or something. You know, because they just left a baby inside a building. Like it's not like that's not serious. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know what you think about what well, that is serious, the welfare of a child, but y'all gotta remember these is babies with monkeys. Monkeys don't get, I just got finished talking about um, females not being held accountable. You know, we treat them like children. You know, I, I, I just got finished saying that right there. All three of them. So you locked up, y'all left early and left a child in there. Now, do y'all know if y'all wouldn't have left early because y'all normally close at six o'clock. If y'all would have not left early, that child would have not been locked up in there. And then you got to ask yourself this right here. So you mean to tell me that that the parent who came to get their baby did not have and, and, and one of their phone numbers? So y'all didn't have the phone numbers of these three people since it seems like these three people run the daycare, um, which is strange that y'all y'all wouldn't have their numbers. But if y'all did have the numbers, I'm pretty sure that y'all called them. So in my mind, they kind of let me know that y'all did not call. And then if y'all did happen to call, they said we ain't coming back around there because we already done left. So that's why y'all possibly had to call the fire department to come on in and get y'all baby out. So the fire department had to break the door. So the owner of the facility and or the manager of the daycare had to go around there and meet up with law enforcement and the fire department. So either which way, somebody from the company had to come on around there anyway, even if those three or one of those three did not want to come around there to get the baby out. That's a damn shame. But listen, the ladies run the business. That's what's up. Shout out to all daycares out here who don't forget your babies. Daycares who don't cl close early so you can get your doggone babies. You are not supposed to close a daycare if all the children have not been picked up. That's what's up. Maybe it was a holiday. But moving right along, I ain't going to eat much. Oh, yeah, I'm going to leave it right there, though.